Hey, I thought I'd do a quick video on how upgrading works in Bloody Spell. I think this mini game is pretty dumb. It feels like straight out of like WarioWare or something. <laughs> but this is the only way to get uh, permanent gear with the best stats. So the first thing you're going to need is iron ore. Now you can get a lot of these uh, just throughout the area. However, you can also get them by resetting. Uh, this is like the penultimate part of the the final level in the game right now. Uh, you'll notice where it is because I'm going to reset after this attempt. And basically you need to talk to this guy here and then you select the item that you want. So right now I'm working on this uh, Fist of the Assassins clan because the Assassin set is the the best in slot gear right now. So you select it and then you have this, this WarioWare crap here where you have to hold the A button down to I guess put in the liquid or whatever and you have to make sure it doesn't go over doesn't overflow. If even one drop overflows, then it doesn't count. This is like the most difficult one, so I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Oh, there we go. But as long as it doesn't overflow, it can go over the uh, the green bar, but the green bar is generally the, uh, the guideline you want to aim for. So whether you succeed or not, the iron ore is going to get consumed, so you're going to want to reset, because the only other way you can do this is by uh, just beating the game over and over, which gets pretty tiresome. This last level in particular is pretty boring because it really doesn't have much uh, like variance in it. So you might as well reset before they patch it. <laughs> At least that's my philosophy behind it. So the rank for, for weapons goes white, blue, purple, yellow, and then orange. Uh, orange is permanent retention. And you get bonus uh, affixes on them as well. Oh, I got close there. That might be enough. No, still quite a ways off. <laughs> Some of them are like really finicky, so you're definitely going to want to reset when you can. Alright, boom, there's the uh, best in slot orange fist. So you can see uh, on stream earlier today I did a bunch of resetting and I basically got all the best in slot gear that's possible right now. So this one's just got plus 10 damage, crit damage, and then 100% crit chance when your HP I guess is maxed out. I can't see the rest of that affixed there. But that's a straight upgrade, so let's put it on. So the Assassin set is also the best in slot for armor as well. Uh, don't spend resources on the Swordsman cap because it seems like they can only go up to yellow, which is the rank that you get from uh, finishing the achievements. So you generally want to aim for the Assassin set, but anything else should go up to orange level as far as I know. Okay, so I've got the Boot of Assassin's Clan left. And I have three chances, so you get to see how the uh, procedure works here. way too much.
I don't think I've actually gotten this container before, so I don't have the muscle memory for it. That's fine, I need to show how to reset anyway. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, that was way too much again. Okay, so at this point, what I do is I just Alt F4 out of the game. I don't know if you actually have to do that or not, but you might as well do it to be safe. And then just uh, load the game again. Go to play, continue game, and then you can do easy mode if you want, just to make the enemies a little bit easier to kill. Then I'll show you all the locations for the iron ore. Now, I have done this twice, and they've been in the exact same location every time. So I assume that they are just, uh, they're always seated like that. But I could be wrong. Now, the first time you do this, when you get in here, you may want to clear out the whole room, because there's a chance that the chests may actually have, uh, one of the assassin set pieces, which will save you a lot of time, because the best way to get those is generally from, uh, the shops. So there's one iron ore there, and then there's another couple on the way. Now there's one right there by the skeleton behind me, but I generally kill this guy too and grab the chest, just in case. Chests are also seated as well, meaning that they will give the same thing every time. So, like, if a, if a wraith comes out the first time, then it will always be there on subsequent times. So, uh, after you've opened up the chest once, you can definitely memorize what's in them and then use that to minimize how much time you're resetting. So, there's one ore there. And basically, you're going to come to a fork. Uh, towards the left here, this direction is where the minigame is. So this dude over here with the star, it can be kind of hard to get to him because these other guys are pretty much going to aggro, almost guaranteed. Now since this is based around resetting, you can just grab it right here and then just book it. You don't have to fight them. But if you're trying to level up proficiency, it can be nice as well. So there's one here, one here, and climb up the ladder. Don't worry, they can't climb up here, so they're just going to sit here like sad puppies and wait for you. <laughs> and then finally, there's one over here. I don't remember how many I had before, but you get a pretty significant amount. So that's basically just going to amount to how many attempts you have per reset, since the iron ore will respawn every time you reset the game. So let's go ahead and try to get this boots maxed out. close. Maybe like a couple more frames would have done it. There you go. Best in slot. So let's pop that on. And then I'll go ahead and I'll continue a little bit farther so that you guys can see exactly what it is you should be aiming for. So the only piece I'm missing right now is the hat, and there is still a chance that I could get it this run, but there's only like three more shops. So you generally want to check every shop and see if it has anything with the, uh, the suffix of, of the Assassin's Clan. Those are the best in slot items in the game right now. As you can see, I have the, I have pretty much all of them. I have the, uh, I have the gauntlets, the katana, the great sword, and then the spear. Now, the way the spear works right now is it's kind of like a Dynasty Warriors game with like a clone moveset, where you have, uh, uh, even though it's a spear, you're still using the bow staff moveset. However, uh, if you look here, the halberd is actually supposed to be its own weapon class right now. I, I do not know if there's a, uh, if there's a bow of the assassin uh, weapon in the game right now, but you might as well just max out a regular bow staff for now in case it isn't added.
So I'll go ahead and I'll show you what to look for from the, uh... From the shop. Actually, I didn't go ahead and kill that guy, so all these guys are gonna be here. Generally not a fan of fighting in here because it's so... So, like, claustrophobic. <laughs> Not a lot of room to dodge their attacks, which is another reason why you should skip them unless you're, uh, you're trying to go for proficiency. The ore also carries over through playthroughs, so if you get to the point like I did where I, when I was streaming earlier today and I pretty much had everything that was worthwhile upgraded, then uh, you definitely want to keep it and just keep going because that'll just give you more attempts. The less you have to reset this, the better because it does take quite a while to get back to a fresh attempt. Okay, so there's going to be a shop over here. So make sure to not throw out anything that, even if it's a uh, white tier, don't throw it out if it says of the Assassin's Clan as its suffix, because that's definitely the best thing you need to aim for right now. If you can get one with a higher rank, then that just cuts out the amount of grinding and resetting you need to do. But. Don't uh, sleep on the white ones either. Definitely keep those if you can. Usually buy them for pretty cheap, so it just generally cuts out a lot of the grind. This guy really wants to put me in a waggle QT. There's also another iron ore over here as well, so you could go back if you wanted. But it's generally better to just reset that first part. So there's none here right now, but basically uh, if there was, there would be one with the assassin suffix, and you could just use that. Also check here, since you're going to be getting a lot of money doing this, see if there's anything you can max out. Like, I pretty much have a maxed out character, so... Not a whole lot of use in here for me, but for instance, I can go ahead and buy this. And then go ahead and just get more ranks. So, it will take, uh, I don't know how long it takes on normal. I've been doing this on easy, just to get through it faster. I, I think this mini game is kind of designed poorly because you have to get pretty much the last, like, 10 minutes of the, the current run length to upgrade anything. So, you may just want to run it on easy. Uh, this game does have New Game Plus, so... Uh, as long as you just continue pressing continue game, and then you'll have all your gear, and if you upgrade it to orange, you'll have it regardless, uh, even if you wipe or die. So I de definitely recommend doing it on easy for a while, especially if you're just buying the game now. Uh, obviously there's a sale going on right now, the game's like 10 bucks, so uh, it might actually help you even more if you're a new player. I've been playing this game since launch, so I have a majority of things maxed out, but you could definitely get a lot of other things done while you're doing this resetting for your gear as well. Thanks for watching. Peace.